This is the nylon rope trick. We've got two chemicals and when we grab hold of them then magically they form nylon. Let's have a look and see how it works. <laughs> So this is the nylon rope trick. We've got a couple of chemicals. We've got this stuff which is sabacyl chloride in cyclohexane. It's oil based. So this will float on this stuff which is hexane 1,6 diamine and this is water soluble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small amount of this stuff and I've had it previously warming in some hot water uh, this stuff crystallizes and it's pretty nasty there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gloves on because this stuff isn't particularly nice Now we're ready to have a go, I can take a small amount of this stuff and I'm going to put that in this little measuring cylinder. That should be plenty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this up to about 10 centimetre cubed with distilled water. So I've got my water layer and we know that oil floats on water so I'm going to put this in there first. You're fairly lucky watching this on the video because you can't smell how awful some of these chemicals are. Now for the oil based one and this you might see sometimes fumes this is the one that's particularly nasty and I'll move that one out the way and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this so that it floats on top of the water and there we have so I've got an oil based substance floating on top of a water based substance and where the two mix the plastic forms. So we're going to make nylon. So I'm just going to reach in, grab hold and if I can do this nicely and pull it gently so it comes out forming a fairly nice piece Again. If I can pull it steadily, it forms a nice even piece. I'll do it once more. So this is making a strand of nylon. This is remarkably tough stuff. Because this is the sort of nylon fibres that you 
basically just now weave and put into clothing or even rope like this so this is the reaction making nylon the two layers where they meet we've got this join that you can possibly just come in and have a look at closely and we can see how that where I'm pulling we're getting the two surfaces the chemicals reacting together and making this chemical reaction to join these two chemicals together and as I pull the two items mix together forming our nylon rope. Well let's have a look and see how that all works. What we've got is a solution in water containing this stuff and this is hexane 1,6 diamine. I haven't got that here I've just got a simple model here containing the same groups I've got basically an amine group at one end of a molecule and an amine at the other end of a molecule and I'll represent the chain which I'm not going to build just with these extra carbon atoms and I've got another molecule so we've got several of these molecules in the water layer in the oil layer I've got the other substance the tobacco oil chloride dissolved in oil cyclohexane and again I've put a short chain here and at each end I've got a acyl chloride group it's got a double bond O here and an oxygen joined to a chlorine and it's if I like a, a molecule like that one it's mirrored it's got the same group at each end and I've got a couple of these here so what happens in the reaction well these two molecules come close to one another this is the water layer and the oil layer and we have to think of this happening all the way along forming chains let's see what happens in the water these hydrogens often disassociate they separate and when it comes close to this acyl chloride which is fairly acidic what happens is that the oxygen reacts with this hydrogen here forming water and these two molecules join together and what we've got is a link here and this is making a long chain water given off at the other end the same thing is happening water is being formed and these molecules are joining my statums are breaking here and at the other end this reaction is continuing so we're forming water and we're also getting out a very long chain this chain of nylon Where's the name nylon come from? Well, there's lots of speculation and lots of arguments about this. But one possibly plausible reason is that nylon was actually developed by one company in New York, NY, and London at the same time. And if you put them together, NY, LON, you get the name nylon. Now, whether that's true or not will have to be debated probably and left to history to decide. But we've got then long chains, very strong, this stuff, nylon. 
when you mix it together you've got pretty nasty substances but when they've actually reacted then you've made something which is in fact very safe and this stuff here this nylon is then just basically nylon fibers that can be used to be woven I wouldn't suggest you probably wove those they're probably a little bit too thick what I've tried to make there but you can weave those to make ropes and if they're fine then you can weave them together to make all types of clothing and this stuff is now very inert and safe in fact it's very inert and this stuff now will last for probably centuries which is our problem with plastics that these things once made basically are virtually impossible to destroy so we have to think about these things and make them very carefully because what's made there is going to last not your lifetime but your children's 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 to the end lifetime and so we have to be very sensible about how we make these and how we use them. Thanks for watching.